Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel Blessed and Beautiful Homestead. Today I thought I would take you guys along with me and little Parker. We've got a task to do today and that is clipping our turkey's wings. And we also have a couple rogue teenager chickens that have learned some bad habits from the turkeys so we've got to clip their wings too. I thought maybe I would just do a video and show you how I do this here on the homestead. Maybe you've got some chickens or turkeys or some uh, fowl on your homestead and you've never done it and you'd like to know how. Parker loves all the homestead animals he always has, but there's always been something about the chickens. He is the chicken whisperer. <laughs> so today, he's out here giving mama a hand. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. Guys, so this is our female. And I hope you can see, I try to position the camera where you can see well what I'm doing. So when you clip your bird's wings, you're all right, mama. First and foremost, I'm always very gentle. You know, they're a little scared. Just be gentle. You're going to pull their wing. You're all right. I know. Pull the wing out. When you look at the feathers here, the flight feathers, are these front long feathers. And you can see these have been previously cut. So when you cut the bird's wings, or their feathers, not their wings, um, you just need to cut the flight feathers right here. You don't need to cut any of these back here. These are the feathers that give the birds the ability to fly. Make sure when you're cutting these feathers that you're looking at how far down you're going. You don't want to go past this other layer of feathers here. These are also called blood feathers. And the thing is, you guys, these actually have blood running through them. So if you cut these feathers too short, you the bird could potentially bleed out if you don't help that clot or if you don't pull the blood feather completely out of the wing. Yeah. All right, so we're going to pull this wing out here and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. You're all right. Make sure you've got some good scissors. It's easier if you put the bird up against your body. I don't want to try to run away from you. Now this does not hurt them. So don't be afraid. You're not going to hurt the bird. And this is all you do. Now I have to tell you guys just a little story about this sweet girl. And it is a uh, personal story about the blood feathers, which is why I am so serious about telling you guys to be careful with how short you cut their feathers. So one day Parker and I were off to our homeschool group and we realized that the turkeys had gotten out of the yard. So I was running late that day and I was in a hurry to get off to the homeschool group on time. You know, if I don't get these turkeys now, um, they could be gone by the time we get home. So Parker and I ran out captured all the turkeys, brought them back in the yard. And I was in such a hurry, I was not paying attention to how short I was going. You guys, this sweet girl right here, that wing that you just saw me pull out, I cut all of those flight feathers way too short. And as soon as I cut the feathers, blood just started flowing out of this sweet girl all over the back deck. I mean, it looked like a murder scene. I panicked, I called Joe, I'm Googling on my phone like what to do and I was like, oh my gosh, I felt so bad. Shame on me for not taking my time. Shame on me for rushing. Um, if it meant we were late to the homeschool group, then so be it. But it was definitely my fault for rushing and not slowing down and paying attention to what I was doing. Long story short, um, there's some different views on this. Hopefully the camera's not shaking, the chickens are pecking the tripod stand. <laughs> but some people say that you can stop the bleeding by putting cornstarch on the end of that feather. 
I will tell you that I tried that and it did not work. And there was so much blood, I was afraid to leave her and go to the homeschool group and come home and find her dead. I, I was afraid of that. So a lot of other people say the best thing to do to ensure that the bird does not bleed out is to pull the <laughs> blood feather out completely. Now I will tell you guys, it was awful, but it worked. And look at her now, this was months ago and she is alive and healthy. I went into the garage and I got a pair of Joe's really good pliers and I counted to three on every single feather and I got a good grip with those pliers and I yanked it out super fast um, to make it as painless as possible. Now I have read that those feathers do hurt them. It does cause them pain if those feathers get pulled out of their wing. The alternative was she could have possibly bled out and died from it. So I pulled out each feather super fast and you've got to make sure to get down to the base of the wing get a good grip with your pliers so that you don't miss and yank and not get it because it it does hurt them get in there good pop it out super quick and be done with it the blood feathers do come back they grow back um, as you saw she's got all of her flight feathers back and she is healthy and strong but i just want to tell you guys if you ever cut them too short those flight feathers are blood feathers and the bird could bleed out if you don't clot the bleeding or just pull those blood feathers out completely as fast as you can. They will grow back. So don't freak out if you do that. Just man up and handle the situation. <laughs> so whenever this sweet girl sees me coming out here with the pair of scissors, she's like, oh Lord, here we go again. Huh, sweet mama? Her little wing was shaking just now when I was cutting them. Did you see? She probably has a little PTSD from that day. I know I do. Um, I have so much compassion for our animals. That's part of why we do what we do here on the homestead. Hey, that hurts. <laughs> That's part of why we do what we do here on the homestead because I want to know that what we are uh, eating or raising is being raised with love and care. And um, all of these little guys are precious to us, even the ones that are going to be on our kitchen table someday. So, yeah. all right, you're all done. It's time for the boys' turn, okay? You ready? Parker, why don't you grab the hen? And mm -hmm. we'll do a couple of the hens really quick. There you go, Mama. Good girl. Good girl. See your wings. All right, so like I said, we have a couple teenager hens. These were some of the girls that we hatched. Here on the homestead, we've got some videos of incubating eggs and also a couple of our broody hens. And these guys were raised with the turkeys when they were babies. So they follow suit with whatever the turkeys are doing, including learning how to fly over the fencing. So a couple of these little girls are gonna get their wings clipped today too. So it's the same thing with the chicken's wings as the turkey. All we're gonna do is clip these flight feathers right here, these long ones. So again, there's a second layer of feathers that you can see along here. So you just wanna make sure that you're not going any shorter or else you're gonna clip those blood feathers way too short. So we're just gonna stay up at the top here. There you go, little mama. You can see the difference here. These long feathers up at the front, these are the flight feathers. So those are the ones that we want to clip so that he can't get out of the yard. Oh, gosh. Hold him, P. Hold him. You got him? Yeah. You're stronger than he is. He's much littler than he looks. Hold him. Stay. Stay. All right. Yeah. Hit him, P. Yeah, good job. All right, bring him over here. Did we already get this guy? No. No. I don't think we did. Nope. Nope. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ugh. Get out of here. He's trying to fight. Hold him, P. Nope. 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 He thinks he's the alpha. Yeah. Nope. Don't come up on me like that, turkey. I might have to take him out of here. All right, you hold on to him. I'm going to get him out. Hold him. Put him in the coop. All right. Come here. Let's go. 
All right, so Parker, grab that other. Uh, Parker, grab that other turkey. The the main the alpha male and had to put him inside the chicken coop while we did this guy. You know, you got one that's the dominant one, and uh, the rest are not. And he kept trying to come over here and attack this turkey while we were clipping his wings. So <laughs> I'm holding this turkey while Parker locks him up. You got him, P? Oh, did he scratch you? Yeah, yeah he's strong. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Can you get him? Good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. Move the tail. <laughs> All right, you got him? Yeah, come on, tails. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I know. Oh. There you go. All mm -hmm. done. All done. Good, good job. Hey, okay, good job, Parker. <laughs> High five. Yeah, good job, buddy. Hello, boys. Looks like you won't be getting out of the yard anymore. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Mom, she's trying to attack her. <laughs> They're fine, P. They're they work it out amongst themselves. It'll be okay. I barely tell her. She's a female turkey, keeping them all in line. <laughs> Mom, look. Yeah. This one's not uh, snow. That one's snow over there. She's got yellow eyes, like gold yellow eyes. She's got green. Folks behind you. <laughs> You gonna check for eggs, buddy? Yeah. Oh, look at her. oh wow! <laughs> so all the chickens are molting right now. They do this every hey, fall. Don't don't pet that. And look at her. She's looking rough. Yeah, girl. You better get them feathers back. Winter's coming. Look at look at her. Look at her down there. <laughs> look. Mhm. Mm so they molt and they slow down on their egg production as we get into fall. Some people put red lights in the coop to kind of trick them so they'll keep laying through the winter. We don't do that. We allow them to rest. It's their natural cycle. You know, God made them to work this way. So we don't put lights in the coop. We just let them have a break. We only get a few eggs a day in the winter time and that's okay. So Joe and I went and picked up a big, huge trailer load of wood chips the other day and we filled the um, chicken area with wood chips. So since we're selling the house, we did some really nice landscaping on the property. And any of you that have chickens, you know that chickens will just destroy the landscaping, right? So we have always been big on letting our chickens free range, but we need to keep them out of the landscaping so that it stays beautiful for the buyers. So we did do a enclosure here for them. Um, so they have to stay in there and they ate all the grass, of course. So in the rain, it just turned muddy and disgusting. It was just like a muddy, poopy mess. So the wood chips have been awesome and it just smells so good. It smells like cedar and pine and it's just a lot cleaner for the chickens. Want the sponge? Mm -hmm. He's like, excuse me, I'd like to have a drink of water. <laughs> now she's thirsty, huh? Who? White? Yeah. I'm gonna name her Snow White. 
If you found this video helpful today, my friends, please click that like button for me. And also, if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well. Our YouTube family is growing and we are so grateful for each and every one of you. I am so happy that you hung out with Parker and I today here on the homestead. We enjoyed taking you guys along and doing things that we do every day here on the property. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with us today, my friends, and we'll see you on the next video.